and Bernardino Microwave Society, SBMS, tune-up party at Fairview Park in Costa Mesa, California. There are about almost 20 microwave stations being tested today. As you can see, we're getting ready for the 10 gigahertz and up contest in August. Stations of all kinds and all kinds of configurations here. And every single radio is unique. Um, that's because there really isn't a standard other than frequency of operation and mode. So as you can see, everybody has their own idea and concept as to what they think is an optimized radio for 10, 10 gigahertz operation. I suppose it's uh, fairly similar to um, people who make their own cars or hot rods. Everyone is different, but they accomplish the same task. San Bernardino Microwave Society, SBMS, Microwave Radio Tune-Up Party today. This is where all of us check our radio systems and test them out in the field to verify proper operation for receive and transmit in preparation for the 10 gigahertz and up contest in August and September. This is Ryan W6SZ and his 10 gigahertz radio. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> You're listening to which beacon on this radio? Uh, Frasier. This is a Frasier beacon. folks out there who understand Morse code understood that identifier of the Fraser Beacon. Here's Gordon, WB6NOA and his 10 gigahertz radio. Say CQ hi Gordon. Magazine, day CQ. Right. Let's take a look here. See there's a Kenwood, uh, what is that, TR751A. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're using that as the IF radio. And the box here. A uh, down converter from, um, who's the group overseas? That is probably from BB6NT. Yeah, that's Tune it. Tune Electronic that's in it. Germany. And a, a whopping one watt amplifier. Nice. Very good. Look at that. Yeah. He's got a compass right there to help him out steer his antenna. Got to have a compass. Here is yet another approach to a 10 gigahertz radio. You notice the uh, AC power strip here. So since there's no generator out here, and he's probably using a DC to AC inverter, and then goes into a switching power supply, as you can see here. Once again, the uh, ASU FT817 IF radio. In the mystery black box with everything else inside. Look at that. This is Pat N6RMJ and his 10 gigahertz radio, but it's a dual band, 10 gigahertz and 24 gigahertz radio. And if we look inside, it's got a computer in there to do all kinds of stuff. What does the computer do, Pat? The computer allows me to peek up on the signal strength. Uh, with uh, WSJT in a monitor measuring mode and another program MRP40 allows me to send and receive CW where I can't even hear it. Very good. Where do you get those programs? Are they free downloads or what? WSJT is a free download and MRP40 is a free trial with I think it's about $40 for the uh, full version. Excellent. What about that signal link USB unit, the little black box to the left that's of the radio? The, that's the interface between the radio and the computer. Let's listen to that beacon ID. And that beacon, I'm pointed to 
the northwest listing to the San Diego beacon, which is south of us. Very good. That's Pat, N6RMJ. I will take the 68. He was better before at 68. Yeah, that's a, that, yeah, it's pretty close. Okay, let's um, okay. let's go to uh, transmit. Okay, ready for transmit. Okay. Uh, Just a junior. Right at 18. Yeah, and uh, 10. Okay. All right.